Gemini, this is your forecast for the month of March 2018. This is a general reading for Gemini Sun, Gemini Rising, or Gemini Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. Now, the second week, you are trying to gain some kind of advantage, and perhaps there was some news that you received. Maybe you're trying to gain advantage over a health situation or through a business opportunity or some, again, some connection, somebody that is a relative of yours, someone tied to you. You're trying to use this and gain an upper hand. And so you may feel momentarily that you are in a position of advantage, but there's something shifting about your circumstance. Again, it could be unpredictable. And so you have the upper hand for now, but how long will this last? Maybe you are struggling with something and you're trying to stand your ground. You could feel like you're being attacked in some way. So this could be a week where you're having to stand up for yourself, especially if the page was negative. Maybe, you know, you're getting ready for something and you don't even know what it is, but you feel that it's coming. It could be that there's an opportunity presenting and you're going to step out there and go after it. You're taking a calculated risk. You're being daring. You're trying to do something that's going to pay off for you, even though perhaps, you know, this is new for you and you don't have as much information as you want. You've decided that you're going to push through something. For some of you, you're trying to push through some kind of obstacle, and it may require that you act assertively, or perhaps you're even acting aggressively. You could be dealing with a younger person who is taking on these traits. Maybe somebody's being very defiant. They're not following instructions. Uh, they're not you know, doing what is expected. And this could be a week where some difficult situation brings matters to a head. There's a challenge that you are facing. And it's important that you have a strong sense of purpose about what you're doing. And in some cases, it may be necessary for you to draw some boundary lines and act in your conviction. But it's also important that you bend a little bit, uh, that you are adaptable to whatever is happening because that's how you're going to get ahead. If you're stuck in a certain way of thinking, you're going to continue to deal with upsetting circumstances. Uh, this is a week where you do have the chance to make some beneficial changes in your relationship. And this is a week where it's a mixed bag being thrown at you. You've got opportunities and challenges that are karmically related and you're going to have to be very persistent in trying to reach a goal. And it doesn't matter how complicated the goal is or how small it is. It's going to require that you put forth a lot of effort. Could be that other people uh, are wanting something of you. They want to know what you think about a situation. They want your advice. They want your assistance. And you may feel like everybody's coming at you, that they, they are being demanding. And it's requiring you to have to rearrange something that you're doing. And you're, you're, you're trying to stay above it all, stay above the fray. And yet you're finding it difficult. So this is a week where you're going to have to reconsider what your priorities are. Are and where you want to put your attention and who you want to give it to. And it's important that you connect with people in ways where they don't feel threatened. So if you see them making mistakes, how you word that or how you put your ideas forth are going to be important. This is a week to make, to rally people to your side, to get them on your team. And that comes through inspiring them, motivating them, encouraging them, rather than criticizing, pushing, or judging. Now, for some of you, you know, again, you feel like you're under siege and you're doing the dance and you're trying to please everybody. And no matter how hard you try, you're not getting anywhere. There's always, you know, they want more. 
and you may end up feeling victimized. But part of that is you haven't gotten clear with yourself. And it could be that your own unhappiness is keeping you stuck. You've married yourself to a position and you're just not going to change. Uh, and this is a week that's very much tied to, you know, being in control of a situation, whether you're winning or losing the battle, whatever you consider that battle to be. And it's likely tied to something from the past, some memories. Maybe you're trying to gain an advantage over some of these memories. There's some past influences. Again, maybe you're fighting this unknown battle. You're striking out. You don't even know what you're fighting. And it directly ties to you reveling in this past. For some of you, though, you're trying to gain an advantage. And you recognize that that comes through maybe pushing forward. and But you're having difficulty moving on. Uh, so in the interim, you may start lashing out at people. You get very defensive. You're frustrated. And you don't even realize it. You are, you know striking out at people that have nothing to do with the situation. And so this is a week you're going to have to reconsider your position and your priorities, especially if people are encroaching on your territory or your time or your desires. So this is about rethinking some things in order to get that advantage. Hey, before you go, don't forget to visit my website blog for the daily tarot card of the day.